Swallowed Star 2, Origin Continent. Chapter 179 to Chapter 180. Have fun reading as well as listening. Chapter 179, Full Scale Invasion, 30th of Volume 4. Emperor Chu's prediction was correct. The news of Luo Feng becoming a god king was soon confirmed, and the two largest intelligence organizations, Yen Feng Pavilion and Thunder Chamber of Commerce, verified it and sold the information to their clients. On Mount Polu, a massive sacred white-scaled creature with a winding form was meditating in a large bath, faint golden light spreading around. Hmm. The creature suddenly opened its eyes, its form shifting into that of the god king Polu. With a smile, he remarked, just as everyone predicted, Luo he quickly became a god king. Reaching the invincible first tier of god king without relying on external forces, truly terrifying. God King Polu was quite envious. Such extraordinary talent was well known among the true powerhouses of the origin continent. They all understood just how immense Luo Feng's potential was. Even the two great ancient kingdoms would value him immensely. Like God King Jiayin, who was highly regarded in the Thunder Ancient Kingdom, as the royal god kings there typically trained in the Hunyuan bloodline, which made many of them unsuitable for governing the nation. In Yenfeng Ancient Kingdom, the threshold for training in the Hunyuan bloodline was even higher. Many in the first tier of god kings were not qualified to train it, and even in the second tier of god kings, only about half could train in the bloodline. As a result, many clear-headed and rational god kings were capable of managing the kingdom. Guest god kings, however, were not permitted to participate in governing the ancient kingdom. My master taught me that I had to switch to training the Hunyuan bloodline to reach the invincible first tier of god king. Compared to Luo He, I'm far behind, Polo murmured with a hint of frustration in his eyes. Breaking through to the next level is too difficult. Even after comprehending the rules contained in the Hunyuan bloodline, I still can't break through to the second tier of God King. God King Polu sighed softly, then shifted back to his Hunyuan bloodline true form and resumed his focus training. In the city of Zwashan of the Thunder Ancient Kingdom. Zwashanka, a newly ascended transcendent being of the Chaos Realm, remained low-key, dedicating himself to comprehending the Hunyuan bloodline. He wasn't in a rush to become a God King, as for him, reaching that stage could be done at any time. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Swashanka sat cross-legged, flames rising from his body. His expression remained serene, without the slightest ripple of emotion. His spiritual willpower had already reached the second tier of God King, and his realm was also sufficient. Comprehending even the entry-level Hunyuan bloodline was easy for him, allowing him to maintain absolute clarity of mind. In the Origin Continent, many of the independent God Kings who obtained the Hunyuan bloodline possessed only ordinary versions of it. However, those who could reach the levels of emperors or monarchs often had access to the top-tier Hunyuan bloodlines. The rulers of the Yu Kingdom and the Food Kingdom, who were already in the second tier of God Kings, also received fairly ordinary Hunyuan bloodlines. These leaders, capable of maintaining complete clarity, faced less risk of losing control. On the other hand, those who trained in the most elite bloodlines, although they had the potential to reach the level of emperors, were more prone to losing control. There were gains and losses. Among the independent God Kings, those who trained in the Hunyuan bloodline generally retained their rationality. However, within the two great ancient kingdoms, the royals who trained in stronger Hunyuan bloodlines often experienced drastic personality changes, with some even spiraling out of control. Hmm. Zwashanka suddenly received new intelligence. He had long subscribed to all reports concerning Luo He. Luo Feng has broken through. Zwashanka was pleasantly surprised. So fast. It only took him a little over a century after arriving on the origin continent to become a god king. At that time, Zwashanka had entered the depths of the universe sea in despair. Enslaving the realm beasts? Nurturing a disciple for revenge? Both hopes were slim. However, Swashanka understood his own limitations. Staying on the origin continent, he could never defeat the three rulers of the food kingdom. He couldn't even kill any one of them permanently. Later, when Luo Feng mastered the Liyuan technique, Swashanka became incredibly excited. After all, this was a technique transmitted by the Yuan lineage, and countless geniuses on the origin continent had failed to master it. The fact that Luo Feng succeeded meant that he had passed the trial of Yuan. Later, when Luo Feng became a true god, the unprecedented size of his small universe made Swashanka realize that this disciple had surpassed every other practitioner at the same level. His confidence in Luo Feng grew stronger with each step. To achieve such power without relying on external assistance. Swashanka thought, among the three rulers of the food kingdom, only the ruler of Tian Kun is stronger than Luo Feng. Swashanka was incredibly excited. His excitement stirred his will and fighting spirit, strengthening them significantly. Wait a little longer. Swashanka knew very well that he was still far from being able to completely kill the three rulers. In the capital of the food kingdom, within the royal palace, Tian Kun, the ruler of the kingdom, sat in the main seat. Big brother, Wu Xiang ancestor said, after your previous instructions, we have carefully crafted a detailed plan. The chaotic states along the border are ready and can invade your kingdom at any moment. But we just received word that Luo He has become a god king. 
Wu Xiang ancestor was filled with hostility towards Luo Feng, as Luo Feng had ruined his greatest opportunity. He's just become a god king, Tian Kun said calmly. It doesn't affect the bigger picture. According to various predictions, now that he has become a god king, he should soon reach the invincible level of the first tier of god kings, said god king Kufu. While we may not fear him, if he takes action, we won't be able to stop him. Wu Xiang ancestor, Blade Demon God King, Liu Yu God King, and Kufu God King were all experienced God Kings, but even the strongest among them, Wu Xiang ancestor, was only at the peak of the first tier of God Kings. Note, in other translation tools, Kufu God King is translated as Skeleton Peak God King or Kufan God King. This operation has been planned by me and my allies. If Luo he does not intervene, that's fine. But if he does, I will make sure he pays the price. Tian Kun's eyes flashed coldly. However, remember this. When we launch the full invasion into Yu Kingdom, avoid Huyang City and the entire chaotic state surrounding it. I'm giving him a lot of face. If he still decides to intervene, any resulting conflict won't be blamed on me by the Yenfeng Ancient Kingdom's royal family. Tian Kun didn't care much about Luo He, he was more concerned about the royal family of the Yenfeng Ancient Kingdom. Understood, we will avoid that chaotic state, the four god kings responded in understanding. Tian Kun nodded. Following his will, the chaotic states along the borders of the Food Kingdom began to fully cross into Yu Kingdom. However, they avoided the Jiujiang chaotic state where Huyang City was located. In Huyang City, City Lord, Vice City Lords Mo Limang and Mo Yuhu came to meet Luo Feng together. You're in such a hurry. What's the matter? Luo Feng, dressed in a silver robe, was sitting atop a high tower in the City Lord's mansion, drinking wine. Mo Limang quickly reported, a major event. The Food Kingdom has launched a full invasion into Yu Kingdom. Many cities along the border of Yu Kingdom have been attacked, and while some cities are resisting, they are also calling for reinforcements from the capital. The Food Kingdom is completely disregarding the rules this time, Mo Yuhu said. Even some Chaos Realm experts have taken action during the invasion, clearly unafraid of escalating the war. If one or two Chaos Realm experts took action, it could be attributed to personal grudges. But the involvement of multiple Chaos Realm experts clearly indicated the will of the entire Food Kingdom. Our five God Kings in Yu Kingdom haven't issued any clear orders yet, Mo Limang said worriedly. Without directives from the God Kings, the Chaos Realm experts in various places are hesitant in retreating, causing many locations to fall. In war, you must attack when necessary and retreat when needed. But this lack of clear orders is the most troublesome, Mo Limang recognized the grim situation. Luo Feng nodded and said, the ruler of Yu Kingdom is currently caught in a predicament and cannot return. That's why the other four God Kings of Yu Kingdom are also hesitant to act. They are probably waiting for the ruler's orders. The ruler can't return? Mo Limang and Mo Yuhu were shocked. Things will be resolved soon, Luo Feng said. The ruler of Yu Kingdom can't delay for too long. The Food Kingdom is intentionally pressing step by step. If they really wanted to destroy the kingdom, the God Kings would have already attacked the capital directly. But before they can kill the ruler of Yu Kingdom, the Food Kingdom won't dare start a full-on war of destruction. They're pushing step by step, merely forcing the ruler of Yu Kingdom to decide whether to abandon his true form. Yu Kingdom, Capital Ruler, the four God Kings had already gathered there, all of them looking anxiously at the ruler. A towering figure covered in fur sat there, his eyes filled with a mix of unwillingness, anger, and helplessness. Ruler, although the Food Kingdom's invasion isn't advancing quickly, it's a full-scale invasion. So far, we've lost 32 large cities, and seven chaotic states have completely fallen. Their armies are still advancing, said a black-robed figure with two curved horns. They're forcing you to make a decision. They're pressing step by step, trying to force me to abandon my true form and leave Tianha, the ruler of Yu Kingdom said bitterly. This was only an incarnation formed by divine power, while his true form was incredibly powerful. The environment of Tianha suited him better, making him formidable in resource battles, which had drawn the attention of the ruler of Tian Kun and other powerful allies against him. What do we do now, ruler? The four god kings asked, looking at him. Without the ruler taking action, the four of them could never hold off someone like Tian Kun. They were afraid they would be forced into reincarnation. The ruler of Yu Kingdom remained silent. Currently, there is a hegemon level figure within Yu Kingdom. Although he cannot defeat the ruler of Tian Kun, he also does not fear him, a woman in green softly said. Moreover, this hegemon level figure has reached this level without relying on external forces. No power on origin continent dares underestimate him, and he is also a personal disciple of the emperor of Yenfeng ancient kingdom. Ruler, if God King Luo he fully joins us in Yu Kingdom, things will be different, the black-robed figure with curved horns added, while the other two god kings looked on hopefully. With another hegemon level figure, Yu Kingdom's foundation would naturally become stronger. Someone who has grown so powerful without any external help. Would he join a second-tier kingdom? The ruler of Yu Kingdom shook his head slightly. Enough, you all may leave now. I'll think about it. The four god kings exchanged glances and had no choice but to leave. In the vast, desolate hall, only the ruler of Yu Kingdom remained. If he had no ties or responsibilities, he could have stayed peacefully hidden in Tianha. 
But he had a people, children, and many subordinates. And a vast kingdom, with its steady resource production, was equally important to him. With Luo He's potential, he could easily join the two ancient kingdoms or any first-tier power and hold a high position. Joining a second-tier kingdom? He could establish a second-tier kingdom of his own. The ruler of Yu Kingdom felt a headache. If Luo Feng were to establish his own kingdom, it might start small, but as his strength grew, the kingdom would naturally become powerful as well. No matter the outcome, I should give it a try, the ruler of Yu Kingdom thought, feeling at a loss. Asking a friend to hold off Tian Kuan's ruler was fine occasionally, but large-scale wars like this would last for a long time. Asking someone to defend against the ruler of Tian Kuan long-term came with too high a price. As for abandoning his true form, the ruler of Yu Kingdom couldn't bear to. Come to think of it, Luo He and I do share some fate. The ruler of Yu Kingdom pondered for a moment and immediately gave orders. He would personally take his daughter, Yu Shuei Tianyu, along with Black Butcher, Suo Zi, and several other servants, to visit God King Luo He in Huyang City. End of chapter. Chapter 180, The Generous Luo Feng, 31st of Volume 4. In the capital of the Yu Kingdom, within the Royal Palace. Black Butcher and Suo Zi exchanged glances, both feeling somewhat nervous. The king is going to Huyang City, bringing us along. The obese Black Butcher, an eternal true god, naturally held a high status in an ordinary city. However, by normal standards, he wasn't qualified to meet the king. The Yu Kingdom's king, who had established a second-tier kingdom, was a well-known figure in Origin Continent. Even I was chosen. Sua Zi was even more bewildered, as he was the only void true god among the six chosen followers. Father. Yu Shuei Tianyu, one of the king's children, spoke up as well. The hairy Yu Kingdom king stood there, and even though it was only an incarnation of him, the invisible aura he exuded was still terrifying. His gaze swept over the six followers before settling on Black Butcher and Sua Zi, the master and disciple duo. This time, I'm heading to Huyang City to visit God King Luo He. I've heard that you two are old acquaintances of his. God King Luo He. Senior Luo He has become a God King. Black Butcher and Sua Zi were not as well informed, and only at that moment did they learn that Luo He had ascended to God King. Reporting to the King, God King Luo He often visited my restaurant back then. He really liked it and came frequently, the obese Black Butcher responded obediently. Reporting to the king, when I left my tribe back then, it was God King Luo He who saved our tribal team, allowing me to reach Huyang City. I owe God King Luo He my life, Sua Zi added. The Yu Kingdom King nodded calmly. Bringing along two old acquaintances was an attempt to establish closer ties with Luo Feng. Let's go. Whoosh. At the king's command, he and his six followers instantly pierced through space, traversing the distorted void. In the blink of an eye, the group emerged from the twisted space, appearing within Huyang City. Luo He. The Yu Kingdom King led the group, flying leisurely toward the city lord's mansion. In his eyes, there was a hint of concern. In terms of strength, the Tian Kuan King and I are on par. But when it comes to the number of friends, the Tian Kuan King far surpasses me. The Yu Kingdom King was a bit anxious at this moment. The Tian Kuan King has many allies, and he even has a great relationship with the royal family of the Yenfeng Ancient Kingdom. Several emperors often summon him. Since Luo He is the personal disciple of an emperor of the Yenfeng Ancient Kingdom, could he possibly be friends with the Tian Kuan King too? The Yu Kingdom King had no confidence in convincing Luo Feng. He was accustomed to handling things alone. But I have to try. If I can't persuade Luo He, then I'll ask Sui Feng God King to temporarily block the Tian Kuan King and buy us some time. The Yu Kingdom King had a backup plan, if necessary, Sui Feng God King would help stall the Tian Kuan King for one era. One era's time would allow him to find a way to safely escape from Tianha. Currently, with ambushes set around Tianha, fleeing hastily could easily lead him into a trap. If even one era wasn't enough to escape, he would have to pay a huge price, either abandoning his true body or negotiating with the Tian Kuan King and his allies. Father, we've reached the city lord's mansion, Yu Shuei Tianyu suddenly reminded him. The Yu Kingdom King stopped overthinking and looked at the towering mansion ahead. Brother Luo He. The Yu Kingdom King immediately sent a telepathic message through causality, it's me, Yu Shuei. A figure clad in silver robes appeared in front of the mansion gates. City lord, the guards at the entrance respectfully greeted him. God King Luo He. Yu Shuei Tianyu, Black Butcher, and Sua Zi looked at the silver-clad figure before them, finding him both familiar and somewhat different. The Luo Feng of today, dressed in silver robes, had an increasingly ordinary aura. Greetings, King Yu Shuei, Luo Feng said. I've long heard of your great name, Brother Luo He, but today is the first time we've met, King Yu Shuei smiled. He had once tried to recruit Luo Feng as his disciple, but Luo Feng had politely declined and instead went to the capital of Chu in Yenfeng Ancient Kingdom. There are also three old acquaintances, Luo Feng said with a smile, glancing at Yu Shuei Tianyu, Black Butcher, and Sua Zi, people he had known back when he was an eternal true god. God King Luo He, the three respectfully greeted him. King Yu Shuei, let's go inside and chat, Luo Feng said. All right, King Yu Shuei agreed, instructing his followers, you can wander around Huyang City. 
Yes, the followers responded, watching their king and Luo Feng enter the mansion before relaxing. Black Butcher, looking at the now much more prosperous city, felt a tinge of unfamiliarity. He had once struggled for many years in Huyang City, painstakingly accumulating resources to break through to eternal true god. Huyang City. Suo Zi's feelings were even more complicated. He had long received news that his brother, Suo Yun, had passed away. Back then, the brothers had planned to settle in Huyang City, but they ended up on different paths, and Suo Zi had followed his master to the capital, with Suo Yun seeing him off on that occasion. Black Butcher, you and your disciple know Huyang City well. Find us a good place to eat and drink, Yu Shui Tian Yu ordered. Your Highness, follow me, Black Butcher immediately led the way. Inside the city lord's mansion, Luo Feng and King Yu Shui sat facing each other. The rumors outside say that after you became a god king, brother Luo He, you would soon reach invincibility at the first stage of god king, King Yu Shui said, looking at Luo Feng. Now that I see you, the rumors are certainly true. Your physical body is already at the second stage of god king. Although the king had come with only an incarnation, his understanding of realms remained intact, and he could naturally sense the terrifying strength of Luo Feng's current form. I cultivate the path of the physical body, my techniques are crude and not worth mentioning, Luo Feng laughed. I owe my current strength thanks to you, your majesty. Thank me? King Yu Shui was surprised. What did this have to do with him? Back then, you sent your daughter, Yu Shui Tianyu, to deliver a leaf from the void origin mother tree, which greatly helped me in my cultivation, Luo Feng explained. That leaf, though not extraordinarily valuable, had a profound impact on Luo Feng. Using it, he had ventured into the chaotic layers and collected some chaotic creatures, which allowed him to start studying the transformation technique earlier than expected. Without that leaf, Luo Feng's core combat method might have been entirely different. A leaf from the void mother tree? King Yu Shui chuckled. Brother Luo He, you're too polite. It was just a leaf to help an eternal true god enter the chaos layer and better comprehend the chaos law. It was a mere aid for cultivation, nothing more. This holds immense significance for me, Luo Feng didn't elaborate further. Back then, he had been too poor. That single leaf had appeared incredibly precious and had sped up his path to the chaos realm significantly. At this moment, King Yu Shui felt more at ease. He could sense Luo He's goodwill. Brother Luo He, I came today because there's something very important, King Yu Shui said. Please, speak freely, Luo Feng said as he personally poured wine for the king. King Yu Shui continued, you're well aware of the situation between the food kingdom and the Yu kingdom. As long as you're alive, they wouldn't dare destroy Yu kingdom outright, Luo Feng said. After all, King Yu Shui was a god king at the second stage, and if he had no concerns or attachments, the food kingdom would find themselves in deep trouble. The rogue sitting mountain guest was outside their grasp, so the food kingdom didn't care, but King Yu Shui's deterrence was of a completely different caliber. They won't dare wipe out Yu kingdom or my people, King Yu Shui shook his head, the eyes beneath his fur filled with bitterness. But they can continuously nibble away at Yu kingdom, swallowing up 90% of its territory, forcing the other god kings of Yu to leave one by one. Without the vast majority of the kingdom's territory, god kings and those in the chaos realm will leave, and my people won't have enough resources, he said. Luo Feng nodded. At King Yu Shui's level, resources from rich lands became more valuable. But for the four other god kings, and for the countless members of Yu Shui's people, what they needed were the endless supplies from Yu Kingdom's territories, living costs and the rare treasures of heaven and earth. Without those, internal conflict among the people would inevitably grow. How many god kings can completely disregard their children and their people? King Yu Shui said. Exactly, Luo Feng nodded in agreement. For him, his family, children, and the human race were more important than his own life. That's why I'm here to ask for your help, Brother Luo He, King Yu Shui said. As a ruler of your own domain, and someone who is skilled in the art of clones, even the god king of Tian Kuan wouldn't be able to do anything to you. You have enough strength to resist the food kingdom. Of course, I know this request might put you in a difficult position, King Yu Shui added. Once you openly oppose the god king of Tian Kuan, you'll make a powerful enemy. The god king of Tian Kuan is immensely strong, having accumulated power for a long time at the second stage of god king. Facing him, you'd be at a disadvantage and forced to take hits. And he has many friends, even several emperors from the Yenfeng ancient kingdom value him highly, King Yu Shui said, looking at Luo Feng. If you don't want to get involved, I'll completely understand. The god king of Tian Kuan is indeed not someone to provoke lightly, Luo Feng admitted with a nod. I have two ideas, King Yu Shui continued. The first is to invite you to fully join Yu kingdom and become one of our god kings. Naturally, I will grant you enough territory and treasures. All these conditions can be discussed in detail. Then, you'd have every reason to help fend off the food kingdom. Secondly, if you don't wish to join Yu Kingdom, I'd ask you as a favor to help me. You can name your terms. I can grant you part of my territory, 20 chaos states in total, or I can pay you with treasures worth 100 million merit points to ask for your assistance in holding off the Food Kingdom. I know that to fully oppose the Food Kingdom and block them long term, these terms may not be enough. If you refuse, it's understandable as well, King Yu Shui said, looking at Luo Feng. The entire territory of Yu Kingdom was already claimed. 
To grant Luofeng 20 chaos states, King Yushue would need to reclaim land from some chaos realms and even god kings, which would require significant compensation. So Luofeng would have to choose between the 20 chaos states or the treasures worth 100 million merit points. Joining you kingdom won't be necessary, Luofeng smiled. How about this, 10 chaos states, and you can hire me to help you fend off the food kingdom. King Yushue, who had been anxious, felt disbelief wash over him. After all, the terms he had offered weren't exactly generous. You agree? Just 10 chaos states? King Yushue could hardly believe it. Luo he agreed so easily and even lowered the terms himself. After all, a deeply established god, like the sitting mountain guest back in the day, could single-handedly establish a third-rate kingdom, which would generally cover about 10 chaos states. End of chapter. Looking for more novels? Feel free to explore my playlist.